Hello everyone, welcome to the Mechanical Studies. In this video, we will study ideal gas laws and ideal gas equation, which is an equation of state. We will go through few terms here. First one is an ideal gas. It's the one that having no forces of intermolecular attraction and that follows gas laws at all ranges of pressure and temperature. One more characteristic of ideal gas is its specific heats are function of temperature only. You will find another similar term in few books which is perfect gas. It is again an ideal gas that obeys ideal gas equation and has constant specific heats. Apart from these terms, all existing natural gases fall under the category of real gas and it has been found out by experimentation that real gas follows gas loss at low pressure or high temperature or at both conditions where the density of gas decreases and that's why the intermolecular forces of attraction also. Now please note here in reality there is no ideal or perfect gas. Okay. However, real gases are assumed or modeled as a perfect gas while analysis. Now we will see ideal gas laws. The first one is Boyle's law that states at a constant temperature, pressure of ideal gas is inversely proportional to its volume. So mathematically we can express this as at constant temperature, pressure is inversely proportional to volume and if we remove proportionality here then we can write product of pressure into volume will be constant at constant temperature. Next one is the Charles law that states at constant pressure volume of ideal gas is directly proportional to its temperature. So we can express this mathematically as at constant pressure volume of ideal gas is directly proportional to its temperature and that can be written as ratio of volume to temperature will be constant. Okay. Third one is Gay-Lussac's law that states at a constant volume pressure of ideal gas is directly proportional to its temperature now. So mathematically we can write at constant volume pressure of ideal gas is directly proportional to temperature and if we remove proportionality here then we can write ratio of pressure to temperature of ideal gas will be constant okay from these three laws we get ideal gas equation which is also called equation of state that simply represents relationship between pressure temperature and specific volume of ideal gas. This is ideal gas equation. PV is equal to RT. Remember here P is a pressure small v. This is specific volume. T is a temperature of gas and R is characteristic gas constant. We will see this afterwards. Now here we know specific volume of gas small v is expressed as volume per unit mass. So if we substitute here in this equation specific volume then we get new form of ideal gas equation which is this PV is equal to MRT. Okay? So please see carefully here the difference between these two. Here your using specific volume that's why it is represented by small v and here it is total volume so pv is equal to rt and pv is equal to mrt both are ideal gas equations again if i take this volume at the right hand side then mass upon volume will be density and i can write this expression as pressure p is equal to mass upon volume that will be density rho R T. So this is also an ideal gas equation 
with a different form. Now here, this capital R is called characteristic gas constant, which has a unit kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Its value is different for different gas. For example, for air, its value is 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. This is the value of characteristic gas constant for air 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. This characteristic gas constant can be found out from universal gas constant and molecular weight of gas as R capital R is equal to Ru divided by M. R is equal to Ru by M where R is characteristic gas constant, M is molar mass or molecular weight of gas and Ru here it is called universal gas constant okay which is having unit kilojoule per kilomole Kelvin and this is a constant okay whose value is 8.314 kilojoule per kilomole Kelvin. So this is universal gas constant Ru. Okay, so please understand this difference. Ru is universal gas constant and R is characteristic gas constant. Now please note here molar mass or molecular weight capital M of a gas is given by mass divided by number of moles M by N where small m is mass of the gas and capital N is number of moles. So we can write number of moles as capital N. This will be equal to mass of the gas divided by molecular weight of the gas or molar mass of the gas. Okay. Now if we substitute characteristic gas constant as Ru by M here in this equation PV is equal to MRT. So R will be RU by M and this mass divided by molar mass will be now number of moles. So if we make this substitution, we'll get new form of ideal gas equation, which is PV is equal to NRUT. Okay. Where N is number of moles and RU is universal gas constant. Again, if we consider here molar specific volume of gas, which is represented by V bar as volume divided by number of moles V by N. And if we substitute here V by N volume by number of moles, then we will get another form of ideal gas equation, which is PV bar is equal to RU T, where remember here V bar is molar specific volume or volume per unit mole and RU is universal gas constant. So all these four here are different forms of ideal gas equation. Just take care here when you are using or when you are considering mass of the gas, then you have to use here characteristic gas constant and when you are considering number of moles of gas, you have to consider here universal gas constant Ru. Okay. So please understand the difference and use of characteristic gas constant and universal gas constant in writing the expressions of ideal gas equation. Okay. Now at the end, let me tell you the relationship between specific heats of ideal gas and that relation is Cp minus Cv is equal to R where Cp is specific heat at constant pressure of gas. Cv is specific heat at constant volume of gas and R is a characteristic gas constant as we have seen here. On the basis of number of moles, you can write this expression as Cp bar minus Cv bar this will be equal to universal gas constant Ru. So please note here Cp bar and Cv bar are molar specific heats okay, 
of ideal gas and ru is universal gas constant these molar specific heats of gas are given by cp bar is equal to molecular weight of gas into specific heat at constant pressure cp and cv bar will be given by expression molecular weight of gas into cv and the ratio of specific heats cp and cv are expressed by letter gamma so gamma is the ratio of specific heats of gas cp by cv value of gamma that is specific heat ratio for monoatomic gas like helium and argon is 1.667 for diatomic gas like nitrogen oxygen hydrogen it is equal to 1.4 including air air is also having specific heat ratio 1.4 and for triatomic gas like carbon dioxide its value is taken as 1.3 so this was all from the topic ideal gas laws and equation of state i hope this video will help you in understanding the various forms of ideal gas equations in next video we will study non flow isochoric process in details so don't forget to watch that video thank you